Welcome gamers back to another ARK survival video. My name is the Gamer, and today we're gonna be rebuilding the things that I've lost in the last battle that happened. Radio gamers, now if you have noticed that I have a new Ark Survival intro. Now this was created by me and a little help from my friends, so many thanks um, to you. You know who it is. Um, and I, if you gamers have any suggestions of um, how that intro should be different or what should improve, just let me know and I'll make sure I will do it. Uh, now. Uh, this video is going to be composed of a lot of footage that's been gathered in the last day So that's why there's going to be a lot of big changes um, For example the beginning of course is going to be starting with me from Not level zero. I'm actually level 100 and something What level am I? Level 139 and I have everything researched. There's nothing in this game that I do not have researched So yeah, I, I, kn I know how to play so Practically, my objective is to ooh, someone built their built a stone wall here. Uh, is to rebuild a uh, a big or somewhat big base with a few dinosaurs, just to get myself back into the game because I lost everything uh, yesterday uh, while I was recording Ark Survival for today. I lost everything and my audio and my microphone did not work. Hopefully, it's working right now. Um, so I lost everything and then now I have to start from scratch. So, yeah, that's practically my life story in a nutshell. Oop, dead body. Uh, body. This is a new spawn. Fresh spawn. Nothing. Oh, it's good to kill these guys, gamers. Um, because you do get experience for it. Um, not much, but you still get experience. Alright, dodos. I don't need dodos right now. Alright. Fuck. That's gonna be a problem. I need to go up and around because otherwise this T-Rex is definitely gonna kill me. I cannot take down a T-Rex. Not without the proper weaponry. Or without a mount or anything. There's no way I can take out take out a T-Rex. That's just like absolutely not. I did knock we did knock one out before with um with uh slings. Um but that was with like four or five people. Not with one. Radio gamers, I have decided to start building my base around this area here. Because it's quite close to Airdrop Island. Um, there are a few dinosaurs here to, you know, start going with the taming. Um, I'm a bit nervous about that Argentavis that's flying around there. I uh, will need to kill it later on, but this is about where am I going to build my base. I'm not going to show you on the map, gamers, so then you gamers do not end up trying to, you know, kill me. <laughs> so, uh, let's get going with this base, shall we? Let's create a nice, uh, decently big base. base. Probably I'm going to go, probably do at around, uh, maybe a 4x4 four four or a 3x4 to start with. Uh, not very big, two stories, just something somewhat basic. Just so you can, um, just so I can, you know, store my stuff and, uh, yeah, no, no biggie. Kind of go, I'm going to go a little bit into, uh, mainland, higher into the land, just so it's a little bit more covered up. Um, probably about, let's say, up, up there where that big tree is, just so it's a little bit more discreet. And then right where I'm standing now can be where the um, dino pen can go, you know, simple little things. But uh, it should be nice enough. Let's see if I can find a flat area around here. Yeah, there's not many flat areas though. That's the thing. It's all, we're all on a hilly area. So it's going to be a bit hard to find a flat one. This seems legit. I found this area here. 
Uh, you can still see the shore, um, but it's nice flat. Doesn't look like there's going to be any bad mobs spawning here. So let's get right into building. I do have myself some um, hide armor. So now that I'm a little bit more protected, I'm a little bit more, you know, happy. So I can craft myself five walls, and I decided to stick with a 3x3. Three three. Um, so it won't be too too complex to, to create. Let's get myself some more wood so I can craft myself some more um, some more walls. Uh, some more uh, walls. Um, foundations. Sorry, that's what I meant. Right. Now, you're going to see a transition and the base will be about halfway done. Right, I have finished the first floor of my 3x3 three three base, uh, and I do have some walls that I cr just crafted up, and my plan is just to make a 2x2, two two, and the top floor will just contain, um, what's it called? Shit, what's, it, what's the name of it? Yeah, the top roof will contain, like, the crafting and everything, and storage, uh, and the bottom floor will just contain less important stuff such as the furnace the, um, the yeah upstairs is going to be like the generator uh, and the fabricator and the smithy downstairs is going to be the um, it's not the gen it's not the generator it's um, the fireplaces um, the what's the name of it uh, the furnaces and when I get an industrial grill, an industrial grill. That's practically how my base is going to be. Now, the bl reason why I really lost the battle last... Um, I'm, it's going to be called the battle from now on out. The battle um, is because I left all my doors open. I let the guy... I literally had uh, a sign saying, Come on in. Um, I have resources that are hard to get. That's practically what my, um, what my, uh, my, all my doors were open meant. It was just inviting people in, and that was a huge mistake on my part. Now that was, now many of you probably, people are probably going to say, yeah, well, you shouldn't have done that. We would have expected to be a little bit smarter. But I was not thinking, okay? I was thinking, oh, there's hardly, there's ever, there's hardly anybody on this channel, on this, um, on the server so I thought hey you know it would be safe to to uh, to keep my doors open but that was a big mistake of mine and I regret that dearly for doing that uh, mistake now I want to see if I can try um, taming this little guy because uh, these guys here are quite good to get stone and stuff so hopefully I can uh, tame this guy with low problem it's gonna take a lot of hits that's for sure Position wall. Whoop. That was sudden lag. Okay, come on. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Right. Now I need to keep one wall extra. Because practically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be fencing this way up a little bit better. Oh shit, that's a saber saber tooth, bro. Oh fuck. I just encountered my first little battle. I've got no armor whatsoever. Can I craft myself a bed? If I can, then I can just like lead it away with not much problem. Um where is it? Where is it? Beds. What am I missing? Fuck, I'm missing fiber. Okay, run. 
just gonna run. Get myself some fiber. He's not following. Yo, Sabertooth, bro. I'm over here. Okay, yeah, he's following me now. Shit, that's a big base up there. I think that's a base. Is that a base? That's a base. Where's Mr. Sabertooth? This Mr. Sabertooth. Let's see if I can lose him. And an Argentavis as well. Fucking hell. Lose him, lose him, lose him, lose him, lose him. I think I might lose him. I think I've lost him. Don't want to look back. Anything else following me? Okay, I lost him. That was safe. That was close. Woo. Wait, is he right there? He is. Why am I getting the music? It's probably because I'm close to this guy. Hey, okay, he's coming. Come on, boy. Come on, you little pussycat. Come on. There you go. Come on. Shit. He, took, he doesn't take that much... He doesn't give me that much damage. So, maybe... I could probably kill this guy. You ready for this? Let's go. It's now or never. Where the fuck is it? Okay. Now I need to lose it. I need to lose it. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck. There's a fucking player on a, uh, Argentavis as well who's following me. Why the fuck can I not move? Just keep running. Just keep running. Keep it running. Keep on running. Ready, gamers? After two close encounters to death, um, after losing the saber tooth because of uh, Argentavis and because of another person, uh, I was able to make it back home. I crapped myself uh, a sleeping bag. Let's put this down, you know. Cause I'm a bit nervous to go out. It is nighttime, so I'm going to put up my gamma. Just so I can, you know, see what's going to be happening. Because right now, I do not quite want to die. I'm putting my gamma up to four. Just so I can see, you know, if anything is around. I'll be able to see it much better. Much clearer. So... By the looks of it, up in this area here is going to be much, uh, a lot more people are going to be around this area. Uh, I saw a guy on Argentavis, there's a saber tooth, so two Agent Argentavises, so it's going to be a bit risky to, you know, stay a low profile, but uh, I'm going to try to. Alright, I'm going to cook myself, I'm not going to bother making myself a fire yet, still, you know, just gonna keep myself in the invisible for now because I do not want to end up showing off my location just quite yet. There's a mammoth up there. I think someone's riding it. Yikes. Uh, I was not expecting to be crafting right next, uh, building right next to another person's base, which is just up there. So it looks like uh, maybe in another episode I might be uh, taking taking that guy out. Many of you might be complaining that I've got my gamma up, and you might think that I'm cheating since I'm on a PvP server, but if it's in the game, gamers, then it's not technically, it's not cheating, because that means they've already implemented it, and that means it's made to be used. So it's not cheating. It's just using the, use, the resources that I've got to create something better. And it's also great for videos also, because then, you know, I can... More or less, see you guys, game, see you gamers better. Right, I could not see what I was just doing then. Okay, I crafted walls, good. Right. So it's not cheating if you gamers are going to start complaining and leaving comments saying that, oh, you cheated because uh, when you use gamma, it means that you're weak and you cannot be bothered to make a torch and you don't have the resources and blah, 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 blah. I'm only, the only reason why I'm really using gamma this high, I usually have it at three. Um, which is not that much, it's a little bit worse, but the reason why I'm using Gamma is just so the new gamers can experience it a lot better. Um, and it's also because if I was to put it in the original Gamma, this, you gamers would not be able to see anything. And neither would I. 
So gamma 4 is very bright. And gamma 3 is a little bit better. But in the sense that... And because I'm in north in the northern area, I want to be a little bit more protective of my surroundings. So I'm going to keep it in 4 just so I can, you know, see what's around me a lot better. And I'm going to close this because I don't trust it. Well, yeah. Security reasons. Alright, let's climb. Come on. Why don't you climb? Right. Okay. Now let's uh, finish this base. Radio Gamers, I'm with the video here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button so hard that it breaks. Now, I'm gonna continue building my base, make it a little bit nicer, make it bigger. And in the very next video, you guys, the gamers might see a completely different base, completely different style completely different man <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying wait I'm gonna wrap the video here gamers see you in the very next one peace and don't forget gamers to keep on gaming